It's an enormous engineering fail, apart from a tragedy for the residents themselves, obviously, Bev. On the bright side, uh, several hours into this drama, we can observe that the reported numbers from rescue authorities on the ground are at least stable. They're not escalating rapidly in the latest set of numbers. As you've been reporting, nine injured and one dead. We do know that among the injured, among those taken to hospital, was a 10-year-old boy. And we've heard witness accounts from neighbours who were wandering the area. In fact, Nicholas Balboa, one neighbour, was just wearing his thongs, uh, dressed in a pair of shorts, and he heard a boy and saw his hand waving from beneath the rubble. He scrambled up over uh, some of the concrete debris and was able to drag this 10-year-old boy out. Uh, some police came along to assist as well. Now, the boy, according to neighbour Balboa, was greatly panicked and distressed, asking lots of questions about his mother. But none of those who attended the rescue of the 10-year-old boy was able to shed any light or answer his questions in any way. So that gives you, I suppose, one anecdote of the chaos that happened in the middle of the night. It was about 3 a.m. to be precise when those floors sheared away. We're talking a half to a third, but at best estimates about a half of the building just collapsing from the rest of the building, detaching in a 1981 construction. So 40 years old is this structure and uh, to say that it was a shock would be an understatement to all the residents who've been quoted so far. Mm. And just one final observation, Bev, the building manager has also spoken locally and has reported that occupancy at the time was, quote, substantially full. So it wasn't as if half the residents were away on, hosp uh, on holidays, I should say. Uh, there were a large number of regulars staying there and uh, search and rescue operations are obviously about four or five hours old now, but will continue. The whole block has yeah. been secured off. And Greg, I've heard reports that there was some roof repair work being done to this building, but I guess it's way too early to try and understand what caused this collapse. Well, authorities are at least prepared to say they're going to look closely at that. Roofing repair work was underway. It must have been a big project. In fact, uh, one of the Miami-Dade County officials who has spoken said that it uh, was a sizable piece of work ranging into its 30th day. He said uh, that of itself indicates that it was not a, a minor repair job at all. And so they'll be examining that, what equipment was up there. Oddly enough, the balcony level closest to the roof, the 12th storey, is actually still intact and it was the bottom 11 that sheared away along with the other half of the building. I'm not sure what that tells us about the roofing construction and repair work, but uh, that is going to be examined very closely according to Miami-Dade officials. And the county has also set up a family reunification centre so that those outside of the local area who might have loved ones staying around there can try to work out if their family is affected or vice versa if uh, locals are detached as perhaps this young boy was separated from family members well that will be the function of this reunification center as yeah. well. Greg Jennett in Washington thank you so much.